Here they go, fam. Here they go. Uh, fucking with the religious, you know. Y'all gave them Jesus. <laughs> All right. This this what these devils did. They gave him Jesus. Now here they come with this. Check this out. Conservative Christian leaders are calling on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to stop a bill proposed by members of his coalition to make it criminal to tell people about Jesus in Israel. Our Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen is live near Tel Aviv with more. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, everyone. A big story just before uh, days before Palm Sunday, Good Friday and Easter. Sacred time for Christians. Two ultra-Orthodox members of Prime Minister Netanyahu's coalition have introduced a bill that would punish believers for sharing the gospel of Jesus with prison time. United Torah Judy. Y'all heard that? <laughs> now, one part of me wish they would start that over here the way these Jesus people be running me down trying to tell me to get to know them and do I know them? And I'm like, please leave me alone. So one part of me is like, when y'all gonna start that over here? But on a serious note, I'm like, Y'all gave the people to Jesus. Y'all made them love to Jesus. Every every corner I walk on around here, they got somebody right there ready to invite you to Jesus. Do you know Jesus? Okay? And then now y'all going to start with this shit here? With the prison time? Okay. For the holy wars. Because they got to kill as much humans as possible. This is some bullshit. Is in Knesset members Moshe Gaffney and Yaakov Asher introduced legislation last week making it illegal to share in conversation or produce content online, in print, or by mail. They're explaining. And let's see that flag they sh they showing right there, right? Some more devil signs right there. Just waving that all around. <laughs> That's all I see. Just waving devil shit all around. You know? Now, they passing laws. They can lock y'all up because y'all believe in the fake one. The hybrid. Nation of the bill emphasizes a warning to stop Christians in particular. The punishment: one year in prison or two years for sharing with someone under the age of eighteen. Oh, look at that! Y'all, y'all getting pr pr prosecuted. D prosecuted for Christ. Okay, don't even talk to the babies, especially if you talk to anybody under eighteen. Uh, trying to fill them up with that. You know what I'm saying? One part of me is like. Right. Leave the babies alone. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it real. One part of me is like, good, that's great, right? Like, get them the hell out the way. But uh, another part of me is like, you know, y'all gave them to Jesus. Y'all told them to love to Jesus. Y'all told them that Jesus was the only way to get uh, to, the, to, to the creator. You can't even get no closer to, to the creator unless you say something to Jesus. And now y'all want to threaten them with jails and prisons. <laughs> and all type of fuckery. This is fucked up. Joel Rosenberg is the host of the Rosenberg Report and editor-in-chief of All Israel News. He's also a Jewish follower of Jesus. Obviously, Jewish people don't agree with Christians, evangelicals or others, about who Jesus is, right? We all know that there's a theological... Right, because Jesus is the master of uh, confusion. Yes, Jesus could never say nothing plain or straight. You ask Jesus a question, he tell you about some olive branches and some something. and all, You never understand nothing. Nothing, okay? The master of confusion. The master of it. Difference. But evangelical Christians and, and other Christians have been so supportive of Israel and the Jewish people. So to silence, to muzzle and gag even Israelis like myself and others to say you can't silence, muzzle, gag. I'm having flashbacks of them damn masks. Wasn't nobody jumping up talking about that. Silence, muzzle, gag. OK, anyway, <laughs> what I'm saying is this is some bullshit right here. This is some bullshit. You can go introduce the children to Satan at the school in the programs uh, free of charge. Nobody, nobody protesting that at all. Right. Nothing. Nothing. What, what happened to the freedom of religion? What happened to the freedom to express yourself? Uh, what happened to the freedom of anything is not no more fucking freedom is what they're trying to tell you. OK. And they gave you a fake God. Now they're persecuting you for loving it. I think it's fucked up. 
and talk to another person about your faith and why you believe it. That is terrible. That is not freedom. Did y'all hear that, Jehovah Witness? <laughs> I think he said something about running down people to tell them about your faith. Uh, that is whatever he said. I'm just applying that to the Jehovah Witness. We'll come knocking on the door every damn day, trying to interrupt your damn quiet time to tell you about Jesus. Although he doesn't agree theologically, Netanyahu has always been a strong friend of evangelicals Yahoo. speaking in meetings <laughs> and believing freedom of speech and freedom for Israel's small Christian community uh, should be protected. Now, should this bill gain traction, it could spark a serious clash with the 60 million evangelicals in the United States Six and million. 600 million around the world. Gaffney first introduced a ban. Six million and 600. And six and six, six, six. They keeping up with the number uh, that represents Jesus Christ uh, in the Chaldean uh, numerology calendar. When you break it on down, it comes to what, 18? And what is that? Uh, 666 and Antichrist and Mark of the Beast. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyway, y'all religious, get up out of that religion. Because now they're going to lock y'all up for being religious. Yeah, following the God, but they gave me. It's fucked up. It is. <laughs> On evangelism in 1999, it went nowhere. United Torah Judaism is in a stronger negotiating position now, though, since Netanyahu needs to keep the party in his coalition, or it could threaten Netanyahu's ability to remain in power. Allison, back right. to you. Daniel Cohen, thank you so much. I'm just appalled. I'm appalled. I'm appalled, tickled. Appalled. And wondering, you know, <laughs> why they don't ban none of these Jesus uh, running down folks, peoples out here from doing none of that stuff. And then again, I'm like, what the fuck happened to freedom of expression? You know what I'm saying? Freedom of religion. Ain't that's what y'all said? And I want to remind folks that they have Satan after school class. They have Satan after school class while they over here locking up these Christians. Uh, you know. It's fucked up. They starting a holy war. That's what I want you to see. They starting a holy war. And they coming after you, Jesus. Because they made them. They can do what they want to. <laughs> With their little hybrid. <laughs> Y'all be safe out here, fam. I love you.